Hello friends, welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to make simple intro for YouTube channel. Let's have a look. So let's start. Create a new composition. Name it, as you want, I will name it as intro. Set width and height 1280 and 720 pixels, at frame rate of 25. Time duration 10 seconds will be fine. Now hit OK. Now let's create a background for our intro. Create a new solid. Name it as background, and hit OK. Now let's create bouncing balls. For this we need to draw 4 balls using ellipse tool. Select ellipse tool and draw a circle. To draw a perfect circle, press shift plus alt and draw the circle. We have not changed the stroke and fill color, let's do it. Select the stroke option and change it to none. Now go to fill, select solid color. Align it to center. Press, Y, on your keyboard bring the anchor point below the ball. Now we need to create duplicate, press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. Change the fill color. Position it at some distance from ball 1. Simultaneously do this for all 4 balls. OK our balls are ready. Now let's animate it. Select all 4 shape layer. Now press P on your keyboard to bring up position. Go to 2 seconds and create a keyframe. Now come 1 second backward and create keyframe. Now select shape layer 1 by 1 and drag them to top. Before doing this make sure you are at first keyframe. Let's adjust keyframes. Select all keyframes and bring them to start. Now you can see we have created this. Now let's make them bouncing. Copy the given expression. Now press, Alt key, and select the stopwatch of position. Ctrl plus V to paste the expression here. Do this for all four shapes. Now let's see what we have got. For more bouncing you can set end keyframe at some more distance. Select all layers. And now pre-compose it. Name it as balls. Trim this pre-compose to near about 3 seconds. Now create a new shape layer press shift plus out to draw a perfect square. Change the fill color. Press S key on keyboard to open scale. Go to 3 second create a keyframe. Come back 10 frames and create a keyframe. Set value to 0. Position it at first ball. This does not fit let's increase the size of shape layer. Press R key on your keyboard to open rotation. Set the start keyframe and end keyframe. We will rotate it in negative direction. Insert value as minus 2. Ok it's done. Trim this to start keyframe, this will be the background for our project. Now we need to draw the circle, select ellipse tool, and draw a perfect circle by pressing shift plus out. Align it to center. 
set stroke value to 3. Change the stroke color. Fill none. Now bring the anchor point to center. Now let's scale it. Press S to bring scale. Create a keyframe at 3 second and another at 4 second. Set the first keyframe value to 0. Now go to content. Ellipse 1. Stroke 1. Create a keyframe for stroke width. Go 10 to 15 keyframes forward and set stroke width to 0 to create a keyframe. Select shape layer 3 press Ctrl plus D to create a duplicate. Now go to content. Ellipse 1. Stroke 1. Change stroke value to 30. Now go to dash. Set values of 250. Now go to transform and select scale keyframe and change keyframe assistance to easy ease. Now let's rotate it. Create a keyframe at the start of shape layer, and at the end. Set rotating value as minus 2x. Let's trim the shape layers. Now select Rectangle tool and draw shape as shown. Position the shape layer as shown. As our shape is small, to do is perfectly make sure you have locked the all layer. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate of shape layer 4. Adjust both layers as shown. Now we need to set the anchor point for our shape layer. Press Y key on your keyboard and select the anchor point and place it as I am doing. And do same for this shape layer also. Let's trim the shape layers. Now select both shape layer. Press P to open position. Create keyframe as shown. Select shape layer 5 and drag it to top. Make sure you are at the start of your layer. Do same for shape layer 4 also. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistance to easy ease. Adjust the graph. Now we need to scale the shape layers. Press S on your keyboard to bring up scale. Create keyframe at some distance. Go to some distance and create end keyframe. Unlink the scale properties by unselecting this icon. Now change the values to near about 3500 to 3700 or more, but in such a way that both have same size. The distance between the shape layers are more, let's reduce the distance. Bring up the position option by pressing P on keyboard. Position them closer to each other. Now this look good. Select end keyframe, 
change keyframe assistance to easy ease. This is what we have got so far. Now let's draw a rectangle outside the shape layers 4 and 5. Draw a rectangle. Change fill color to none. Stroke to solid color. Change width to 10 pixels. Sleek shape layer. Go to contents. Select add trim paths. Go to trim path 1. Add start keyframe and set value to 100. Go to some distance, set start value to 0. Select end keyframe, change keyframe assistance to easy ease. Go to graphs and adjust the graph. Now go to stroke 1. Create keyframe for stroke width. Go 5 frames forward. Set stroke value to 0. Select end keyframe, change keyframe assistance to easy ease. Go to graphs and adjust the graph. Select shape layer 6. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. Select shape layer 7. Go to stroke 1. Change stroke width to 3. Let's scale. Press S to bring scales into value 110%. Let's increase its distance. Trim the shape layer 6 and 7. Select shape layer 7. Move it to some distance. Now let's create an animation. Select shape layer 4 and 5. Bring up the position by pressing P key on your keyboard. Create position keyframe for shape layer 4 and 5. Select shape layer 5. Move it upward for some distance. Select shape layer 4, move it downward for some distance. Move 5 frames forward. Move shape layer 4 and 5 closer to each other. Go to 10 frames forward. Move shape layers to outside of screen. Now this is what we have got. Now let's add text. Change the font size and color if needed.
press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate of text layer. Change text to your channel URL. Trim the text layers. Press T to bring opacity. Create keyframes as I am creating. Set end keyframe value to 0. Start keyframe value to 0. Our intro is now created. Thank you for watching. If you liked then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Technomafia.